Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Osha. Let's start episode 363 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Leon and he writes, Dear Vidas and Osha, I had a mild case of the flu from Saturday through Tuesday. Seemed like a cold for the first two days, but the grippe was there when I awoke Monday. Thanks to the flu shot in September, all was able to be treated with symptomatic meds and no fever. So when I got back to practice yesterday, I decided to retry the organ book line. I was able to do number one uh, at half speed with only two mistakes and rediscovered that I had done the 15-step method on them all from November 2017 to March of this year. I'd completely forgotten that, but the penciled-in evidence is there on the music computer printer copies from IMSLP. So, an unexpected early Christmas present thanks to you too. Merry Christmas, Leon. Very nice letter. Um, let's start with the flu. Uh, how, how are you feeling, by the way, today, Osha? Well, I'm a little bit sick and I have a little bit of fever since last night, so I might getting flu as well. B- let's hope that it will pass like, uh, like Leon's case. Let's go for it, because I also got my flu shot in October. Mm-hmm. So right. I'm sort of ready for, you know, flu season. Right. And then he writes that he... He practiced uh, Orgel Buchlein, number one, at half speed with only two mistakes. That's a good evidence that he is progressing with his organ playing, don't you think? Yes, I think that's a good sign. In general, I think um, when people are stuck uh, and doing things step by step, they are not really noticing their own progress and that's okay. We all are in this situation. So then we suggest that after three or six months, you go back to some previously more difficult pieces that you even didn't play, but just played uh, as a sight reading exercise and uh, try it out now. And chances are, if you were diligent in your organ playing and sight reading over the course of six months, that this particular piece would go much easier this time. Yes, in general, I think that, you know, when we practice on our daily basis, often we cannot notice our progress. But if we do a break, and then we come back to it, then we can see it more clearly, Mm -hmm. as was in Leon's case. Do you like the 15-step method, Odusha? The 
you know what I'm talking about, right? Is solo parts, then two part combinations, then three part combinations, and then four part structure. If the piece has four parts, of course. Yes, I know the system. I think it's excellent. If you have patience and if you have enough time. But it's not for everyone, right? True. For example, right now I'm practicing Sonata at Patres by Bronius Kutavicius, a living Lithuanian composer. And my recital is coming up in January. And this is a playable piece, not too difficult, except for the middle section, quite virtuosic. Uh, but this section is, is kind of repeating itself, sort of like 13 types. And if, if you learn one or two repetitions, you learn the, the entire thing. So what I'm doing now, I'm not playing 15-step combinations, but I'm uh, gradually expanding the fragments by stopping every quarter note, every half note, every measure, every two measures, and so on, doubling the length of each fragment. I think that this you know, approach of 15 steps, I think it's very worth trying if you are learning pieces by G.S. Bach. Polyphonic complex. Polyphonic music, yes. Mm -hmm. Because for some, some, some later pieces, there might be, you know, other things that you need to work on. Right. And plus, it depends on your level of advancement. That's right. Um, maybe I would do a 15-step method on a very complicated fugue, but not necessarily on a or the book line chorale. But you know, if you are a beginner, then I think this approach would be useful to probably any piece. Obviously, music. yes, definitely, 100% correct. Oh, and if the piece is not polyphonic, but uh, let's say it has a few layers, right hand, left hand, and pedals, three layers, then we need to look at it from a different perspective. Maybe work uh, one hand at a time. Uh, that would be right hand alone, left hand alone, and pedals alone. Also in fragments, right? And then two part combinations would be right hand and left hand, right hand and pedal, uh, left hand and pedal. And only then, the last combination would be all parts together. So seven, seven step method here would be possible to do if the music is not polyphonically created. Um, but again, it depends on your level of advancement. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems like uh, Leon is having a great time practicing. Hopefully uh, next year will pass without flu. Yes, <laughs> let's hope for that and let's wish everybody you know, a good health because it's sort of a main thing to everybody. Mm -hmm. And when we receive messages like that, uh, uh, when he writes... An unexpected early Christmas presents thanks to you too. It's really uh, very pleasing to read, right, Osha? Yes. When I feel like Santa. You are Santa? Yes. Oh no, I thought Leon was Santa. Maybe you're right and I was I am right too. Maybe you both are Santa to me. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Again. Uh, we give presents all the time, right? We give advice freely. And for people who take the advice and apply them in their practice, this becomes a present. Not only advice, but something that they can apply in their life and improve their lives. True. Hopefully sometimes not even organ playing, but sometimes other things. So those people like Leon who practice diligently will, I think, sooner or later 
rip results, results. Don't you think of it? Mm, obviously, yes. If you are just banging the head against the wall, sooner or later something will break. <laughs> you are, you know, <laughs> making very funny comments. <laughs> that, that's good. That's usual. Yes. So wonderful. Thank you guys for uh, sending those questions. And uh, please continue to do so even in the next year. Uh, because the next year maybe will be a new beginner beginning t to you maybe you will start to, to look at your own organ playing activities from a different perspective maybe you, you will have something like New Year's resolutions but uh, I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, don't you Osha? Well mm, me too because usually it doesn't work <laughs> yeah it works for two weeks because when we attend our gym, mm -hmm. uh, we always noticed that before before New Year's and right at the beginning of New Year's, there are so many people attending the gym, but then, like in the middle of January, we are disappearing, so... Yes, they they say, oh, I will start uh, losing weight, or oh, I will start going to the gym every day, oh, I will lift the weights every day, and this is too much. It's better to say, oh, I will practice for 15 minutes a day, whatever it means, practice doing push-ups or or taking a walk or, or, or running or swimming. For organ playing the same, you don't need to practice for for three or four hours like some of our students do, obviously, at the beginning. Maybe later you will have the strength to do that. But first you have to get the stamina and the best way to do that is step by step. Maybe gradually increasing the length of practice time by 10% a week. Yes. And if you want to watch something funny for New Year's resolutions, you can watch, you know, Bridget Jones' movie, the first movie. Bridget Jones' Diary? Yes. Where she gives, you know, the New Year's resolution. Oh. <laughs> we will not say anything more. True. I hope you will enjoy it. No spoilers. Thank you guys for listening, for applying our tips in, in your practice. Please keep sending us your wonderful questions and we love helping you grow. This was Vidas and Usha. And remember when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your essays, courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi with the Santosha. Thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha -ha, no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. 
What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Usha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video How to Master Any Organ Composition and 10-Day Organ Playing Mini Course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.